in this video, we are going to see how a process owner, risk manager, internal controller, and also an auditor can share a common knowledge base of processes, risk, and controls. I'm connected here as a, a near manager. I have a quick access to information coming from process owner, auditor, internal controller, also a compliance officer. I can have a quick access to the list of all the risks uh, that impacted organizations. In this list, there are different fields that enable me to have a quick access to a specific scope of the risk. It can be, for example, a risk without a recent assessment or also a risk with a high net risk. This list is presented as an Excel file that means I'm able to find a specific risk and have a direct access of the detail of this specific risk. Through the identity card of the risk, I'm able to identify in a graphical way what are the different uh, elements that are linked to my risk. It can be, for example, uh, the control that was set to mitigate the risk, the number of incidents that was reported on this specific risk, the uh, requirement that was linked by the compliance officer, but also the different finding that was reported by internal auditor, the action plan that we have set to mitigate the risk, and also the different elements of my organization that can be impacted by the risk. It can be processes, it can be entity, it can also be objectives. And of course, I can also find the risk that are linked to the specific risk. On the characteristic page of uh, the risk, I have different indicators that give me uh, different information and enable me to quickly analyze my risk. Thanks to the fact that we have in the same platform the capacity to design the processes, I'm able to um, analyze the processes in the context of a specific risk, in the context of the specific processes. I can have a quick access to the hierarchy view of the processes, access to the diagram of the processes, and dig to inside any processes so I can quickly analyze the risk in a context of processes. I will be able to identify where the risk arises regarding a uh, the process. I can do that for any processes that we have inside the tools.